<sighs> oh sh! Gotta go, gotta go! Gotta go, man! I overslept. Now, now I'm running late. Come on, Santi, use your speed! You're faster on the pitch, man! So, I definitely overslept. I have to pick up a special friend at the airport, and now I think they're waiting for me. But, having a very fast car definitely comes in handy. So I'll try not to die, and I'll see you when I get there. So, it turns out, I wasn't running late, and now I'm the one who has to wait. I hate waiting. But before I reveal to you guys who I'm actually picking up, at the airport, who's that special friend that Santi is picking up at the airport? First a league game versus Hertha BSC. Now this team, this team isn't doing so hot in the league table. They're not up there fighting the top spots with us, but they have this man, La Soga, The top goal scorer of the Bundesliga, a very dangerous attacker, a predator. So it's Santi versus La Soga, and I try to, I try to assert dominance and uh, I made myself look like a fool. And they didn't like it. They were being extremely aggressive, that tackle, and then he steps on me. But I'm from the barrio. It's in my DNA to defend myself. It's in my DNA to fight back, and I did just that. I picked up a foul. But no yellow card, so it's all good. 45th minute, right before halftime. Alaba feeds me down the, down the wing. I cut inside, too much space. Ready, aim, fire. Bang. Ho oh, ho. In a lackluster first half. A very lackluster first half from both teams. I blame it on the weather, though. The weather was making it, making it extremely difficult to be precise with any crosses, to dribble the ball. There was puddles everywhere. But this shot, this goal makes it all worth it. What a strike from your boy. Look at that. Look at that missile. Not a chance the keeper is getting to that one. Ladies and gentlemen, we take the lead right before the half. And I have seven goals in the Bundesliga. I'm catching up. I think La Soga, La Soga has, has nine. So I will, I will catch up. Mark my words. But just as we were getting ready to walk to the locker rooms, ah, the joy of taking the lead right before halftime is quickly evaporated. Terrible defensive coordination, terrible defensive errors, and, et and Hertha ties, ties things up, man. So we know what we're about to get from Pep Guardiola at halftime. That halftime chat, that halftime talk, you just don't want to be a part of. Because you know he's going to be roasting. You know he's going to get all, all over you, man. But we must improve. He's right. We must improve defensively. We must generate more play. We must fight through the weather. I'm trying to do just that. Cutting in between two defenders. Attempting to send in the cross. That was unsuccessful. But Bastian Schweinsteiger in the 65th minute. I cut inside with a fake shot. I should have passed it. I should have fed him. I should have given the ball back to him. I was selfish and I missed that chance. 76 minutes in, Shakiri sending the cross, baby. Come on, baby, sending the cross. The cross comes in. Mario Gotze gets a head on it. Ladies and gentlemen, we've taken the lead in the 76th minute. Oh, man. I, I, I don't know what Shakiri was doing. I thought he was not going to cross that ball. Thankfully, he did. I wanted to get a header on it myself, but Mario Gotze beats me to it and he scores the goal, which is all that matters. I'm happy about that. So we take the lead in a game where. Very few chances were generated. In the 90th minute, let's see if I can pick something up right here. I give him a fake shot, I get through him, here it is. So what was looking to be a lackluster performance from myself, only one goal. I pick up another one in the 90th minute after a fake shot, getting through one defender, shooting with my weak foot, and look where I put that ball. Tell me something nice about that goal. It felt good, man. So, now it's eight goals in the Bundesliga, and I'm getting closer and closer because La Soga hasn't scored. He didn't score in this game because the ref has blown the whistle, confirming our victory. Three to one, two goals from yours truly, one from Mario Gotze. 9.3 match rating now it's time to get back to the airport reveal who santi is picking up still waiting but who are we waiting for well it's story time her name is ross 
I met her when I first arrived at Newcastle on loan for my medical examinations. She's a club nurse, a very beautiful woman, a very good person, provided tons of moral support during the tough times of the season. We developed a friendship and here we are. She's visiting me in Germany. So happy to have her in town. <laughs> yeah, man, you should relax. We're just friends for now. But if you'd like to learn more about Ross, then let me know in the comments. Leave a like on the video, that way I know, and you'll get to meet her a little bit better. But for now, another league game, an important one, versus Schalke. Why do I say important? Well, if you notice the league table, Dortmund isn't having any of it. They don't care about our win streak. They, they don't care how well we've been playing. They don't care how we rebounded after that perfect game. Three goals, three assists. Absolute destruction on FK Austria. They don't care about, about any of that. They're still breathing down our necks. But right here in the 25th minute, I cut inside. You Ooh, baby, the cut inside. I let it fly. It hits the post, bounces in. Starting off the action with a hell of a goal from outside the box. Look at the curve on that thing. Another nice goal, man. I'm on a roll. And look at that hilarious celebration glitch. I don't know what the hell that was, but if anyone could pause that part of the video, draw a cape on Santi and send me a picture of it on Twitter or something, you'll get a shout out. That was hilarious. 35th minute though, we have another chance right here. One on one versus the keeper, but not much of an angle. I had no choice but to let it fly. Maybe I could have sat on the ball and waited for my teammates to cross the ball, but I felt like I was gonna get disarmed. I felt like they were just right on me and I felt like I was gonna lose the ball, so I decided to let it fly. I missed. Early in the second half though, right here versus two defenders. Ooh, baby, I get past both of them. I send in the cross. Ah, unlucky, we weren't able to finish that play, but look at me, crossing two defenders, get off me baby, hip replacement shirt, surgery inbound. <laughs> Here we go, 71st minute, another play for us once again, crossing two defenders, splitting both of them, the cross, or the pass to Mario Gotze, the assist in the 71st minute, we take the 2-0 lead. I was crossing these defenders, I mean, they were, they were, they had double coverage on me, and Every single time I was splitting in between both of them. I don't know what the hell they were doing. Look at that. Split both defenders. Easy pass to Mario Gutze. And another goal for him. He's also on a roll, man. He's scoring mostly every game. So that chemistry we built when I was staying with him while I looked for a place of my own. I guess it's paying off, you know. He's scoring. I'm scoring. Great chemistry. The ref blows a whistle. Another win under our belt. 2-0 over Schalke at home. And things, things are looking much better, man. The team is looking good. At least we did in the second half. Another victory. We're on top of the Bundesliga. Doing great in the Champions League. And my friend Ross is visiting me here in Germany. 9.4 match rating. If you'd like to know more about Ross, let me know. Thumbs up, comments. Catch you later.